Just weeks before kids start heading back to school, a local district is dealing with the death of one of its teachers. He was shot and killed by police. Amy Wattis is live with exactly what happened and how that district is now responding. Good morning, Amy. Good morning, David, and those students go back to school August 26th. That's here in Penn Hills at the Penn Hills School District, and we're learning that this teacher, he's a math teacher at the high school. He is 49-year-old Don Babbitt, and police say they were called to Babbitt's home around 3 o'clock in the afternoon yesterday in Shaler on Spencer Grove Lane. And uh, it all started as a domestic dispute. And Babbitt's wife told police her husband was acting erratically outside. They had weapons in their home, so she called 911. When police surrounded the home, Babbitt barricaded himself inside. He ignored calls from police to surrender and put down his handgun. He walked toward the officers, waving the weapon. The officers gave repeated commands to him to drop the weapon. Uh, however, he soon pointed the weapon at an officer. Uh, three officers fired at the subject and struck him multiple times. Babbitt was taken to Allegheny General Hospital where he was pronounced dead. Two of those officers were Shaler and the third officer was from Hampton Police. Now Allegheny County Police, they've taken over this investigation. They say those officers have been placed on administrative leave while the shooting is under investigation. In a statement on its website, Penn Hills School District said, quote, Don was a beloved member of our staff and had the distinct reputation among, among students, families, and colleagues as being an exceptional teacher. He will be missed. Grief counselors will be set up at the high school today in the cafeteria from 10 until 3. They will be there through Friday for any students, staff, and community members that need to come out here and talk to someone. A reverend will also be on hand to provide additional support. Reporting live in Penn Hills, Amy Wattis, KDK News on Pittsburgh CW.